touch on the last game just quickly. A uh, bit of messy play towards the end there. What do you kind of make of all of that? No, oh, it's a good, uh, good, fun game. I thought it was two teams that that, that had a go. Um, but that first half, we we could have been out of sight. Um, we know we missed a lot of uh, opportunities that could have completely killed the game off. But you know, two nil half time is a, a dangerous scoreline. And, and McCaffrey came out the second half. Uh, we conceded a real scrappy poor goal from a set piece. And yeah, and that at that point there, you know, a little bit of belief in in McCaffrey, which they didn't have in the first half. And, and fair play to them and Dwight York, they they had a reaction and. Um, yeah, we uh, we saw that out and could have killed the game off many times on the counter attack in the last 20 minutes. But yeah, towards the end of the game, it was uh, yeah, uh, it was a bit of a crazy, a little bit messy. Um, anything went, and yeah, no, no doubt it had been fun to play and, and and fun to watch, but also frustrating because um, yeah, it was a little bit crazy. But good result, three points, and and yeah, we're really delighted with with with, with the result. And. Uh yeah, like you said, it is going to be a pretty hot day here today. Uh, are you going to be taking it easy out there on the track, or is it business as usual? Nah, business as usual. No, nice and hot, but yeah, we, we we put the boys through the paces today, and and then yeah, we'll have tomorrow off, and then a couple of days training leading into Wellington and, and the travel as well. So it's uh, yeah, big big week, big weekend ahead. Does the uh, does the game plan change at all, considering how tight things are with the, at the top of the table? Uh, do you look to play? differently at all or is it just focusing on craft? Nah, don't play any differently. We'll go there to try and get three points and, and yeah, look, they're a disciplined, well organised team. We've played against them many times and, and yeah, you know, nothing changes for us. Obviously it's an away game. Um, we've got a good record there. We enjoy playing there. So yeah, it's a great stadium and it's always uh, they're always welcoming when, when you go to Wellington and we're really looking forward to the game. And a new signing as well, Christian Tia Harris, how are you going to what holes are you going to use to yeah, obviously we lost Garan Kowal, um, you know, a couple of weeks back, and uh, amazing move to Newcastle United. So yeah, there was a spot there to bring in an attacking player, and, and Christian's a player that that I've admired for a long time. I remember him bursting onto the scene at Melbourne Victory, and then he got a move to you know to to a powerhouse German team in, in Borussia Mönchengladbach, and. Yeah, during COVID and stuff was difficult for everybody, but he came back last year. We spoke to him and it didn't quite work out. Um, and yeah, the opportunity to to bring him in now, I think he fits the group perfectly. He's 23 years old. He's he's a massive talent, and yeah, I truly believe that if we can unlock the potential that he has, uh, we got a future, another future soccer on our hands. But ultimately, that that's going to be down to the work that Christian puts in. And all I know is he's here for the right reasons. He can't wait to to get going, and he's already uh, he's already in there, and he's uh, you know in amongst it with the boys. So um, yeah, really looking forward to to seeing how he progresses. And when can we expect him to, to see him in the yellow and navy out on, on game day? Look, he's fit. He's fit. Yeah, he, uh, you know, as soon as we got the signing done, we brought him straight in. He arrived last night. You know, total commitment. Jumped on a packed his bag, jumped on a flight, and, and we brought him in. So he's here today. A couple of tests and 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 screenings and stuff, but. Hopefully he'll get his boots on today, have a little jog around, and yeah, he's you know he's fit, he's been training, um, yeah, so he's he's a, he, hopefully available come this weekend. And um, just while we're on the talk of signings, Kai Rolls as well resigning as well. With, how good does it see? Is it, does it, is it to see an ex-Mariner kind of making home away from home? Ah, Kai, Kai for me was the best defender in, in the competition last season, and to see what he did in the World Cup. That was no surprise to me. You know, he's a fantastic person. I still speak to Kai uh, a lot now. He's always watching the Mariners games, and I know how proud he is of of his time at this club. And he still follows the club with a with a, with, a, with a big heart. And yeah, you know, it's normal. You know, he's gone there. He's he's shown the SPL that he's he's by far one of the best uh, defenders in the competition. And it's good business from Hearts for new five-year contract. So congrats to Kai, and, and no doubt they're doing that, knowing that there's interest in him from circling from big uh, big clubs around Europe and England and uh, Championship and possibly Premier League level because I think you know he can definitely play at the top show that in the World Cup so yeah, delighted for Kai and he's an inspiration for the boys and he was a pleasure to coach and, and yeah him Garang, him, Garang Alou uh, you know Matt, uh, Lewis Miller Mark Perriquet all, all these players you know were here last year and to see them go on and, and you know give a give a good account of themselves in big European competitions is is, is really what, what I expect from them and, and the boys can follow their footsteps no response to that. We've got a long way to go. You know, we focus on every game as it comes, and right now that's Wellington. You know, where where people where people can talk. There's always a lot of noise, but you know, all we know is if if we perform and 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 we continue to to, to play the way we do, then yeah, we can keep picking up points. 
ultimately, you know, we deserve to be where we are at the end of the season. And and then, yeah, finals time is a lottery, lottery for everybody. You saw that with Western United last year. So, yeah, we don't look any any further ahead. Just the, just the present, the here and now, and that's training today and going to Wellington this weekend.